Hello guys, welcome to Earthing Metallurgy and welcome to day 37 of 100 days 100 concepts. So, previous videos uh, we have discussed about stress tensor in one of our videos, right? So, in this video, we'll see what are the different components okay, of the stress tensor. So, uh, how we'll write a stress tensor? Basically, my stress tensor will look something like this, which is a second order tensor. So, you'll be having a 3 by 3 matrix, okay? So, the diagonal terms usually contain what the normal stresses and you know the rest will be shear stresses okay so it's a symmetric matrix so we know that so i'm not writing this so you can just fill you know the symmetric parts okay so this is my symmetric tensor so sigma will always be equal to sigma transpose so using this Usually, we know that uh, any symmetric matrix can be easily split into two parts, right? So, here, uh, so similarly here, we usually tend to split our stress tensor into two parts. As uh, you can already see the names, one is the hydrostatic component or the mean stress and the other is called deviatoric part or deviatoric stress component. So, what is this? So, basically, we tend to separate this. So, hydrostatic stress or mean stress. So, in the name itself, you can see that mean of the normal stresses. Okay. So, this will be my hydrostatic stress. Whereas, what is the other part? So, we know that, you know, one more main reason is that the whole stress tensor sigma equal to sigma hydrostatic plus sigma deviatoric this is what we actually use to separate it out so here uh, if you are let's name it sigma d so sigma d will be what sigma minus sigma m simple so this will be your deviatoric stress so why to you know split this and all uh, each of these component have some particular you know function so basically my hydrostatic stress is you know taking care of the volume change whereas my deviatoric stress usually take care of the shape change okay so this this is the main reason why we usually uh, try to split our components okay so now uh, quickly if you want to write in terms of matrices so my sigma m or sigma hydrostatic will be equal to what sigma m 0 0 0 sigma m 0 and 0 0 sigma m okay so this is what will be my you know uh, hydrostatic stress tensor so if you want to write this this will be sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z by 3 0 0 okay the same terms over here and also here okay this is how to basically represent the hydrostatic stress so what you are looking at this so you're looking that there is no shear stress component in the hydrostatic shear stress so that's why we also call this an isotropic stress that means in all the three directions you have equal strain so usually uh, this is type of you know stress or we usually we call hydrostatic pressure okay when a free when a ball is falling into a water okay so we call it is under hydrostatic pressure or isostatic stress isotropic stress sorry so what is that meaning so it means that you know from all the directions there is equal amount of pressure equal amount of stress the ball is uh, prevailing from the water okay so it's one example uh, to think about this particular hydrostatic stress similarly as i already said uh, if you want to write deviator this will be equal to so this is sigma x minus sigma m sigma y minus sigma m and sigma z minus sigma m correct so how we got this so i got this equal to sigma minus sigma hydrostatic correct so deviatoric part will be equal to the total strain tensor or oh sorry stress tensor so let me write ij minus the hydrostatic part okay so again don't forget here you have the regular 
Cauchy stress components. Okay, so this is what you get. So if you also want to do this, this is equal to what sigma x minus sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z divided by 3, correct? So from here you get this to be 2 sigma x minus sigma y minus sigma z divided by 3. So similarly in the same manner you can always do for the other you know components which are sigma y minus sigma m and sigma z minus sigma m. Okay. So this is basically how you got you know the split of the stress components into two parts. One is hydrostatic and the other is deviator. And as I has already said, hydrostatic will take care of the volume change and the deviator part will take care of the shape change. Okay. So this is about uh, the different components, hydrostatic and deviator stress component. So I hope this short video gave you some idea about this. Of course, if you want to completely take our course, you can always go to everythingmetallurgy.com to, you know, enroll under us for one of the best India's, you know, most affordable uh, mentoring course for gate metallurgy. Okay, so do check out that and also we are also having test series, right? So one of the important test series which, you know, everybody needs. So it's important to create the mock atmosphere. So along with it, we are giving it only at Rs. 999 now, okay, as the early bird discounts are already done. So now the price has been changed to 899. So even then it is one of the most affordable, okay. So even, uh, you know, you compare with any of this, we are providing around 60 tests where we have 40 around 40 subject wise topic wise tests and we have around 15 full tests okay so yeah this is what uh, is from my side from this video so meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept until then thank you